At many defence shows, contractors has been models of the vehicles they're offering potential customers. But this time, Indo Defence 2016, Rhein Metal Lancers in Germany have actually bought this vehicle. This is called the Marder Medium Tank RI, and the RI means Republic of Indonesia. This year it's in the tank version, and it's fitted, as you can see, with an Italian Ottomolara, or now Leonardo, hit fact turret armed with a 105mm gun, coupled to a computerized fire control system. The turret has a crew of three, consisting of commander, gunner and loader, and the 105 gun is fitted with a fume extractor, thermal sleeve and a muzzle reference system. If you look at the back carefully, you will see that the roof has been raised. That is to provide more internal volume. What other improvements got? Well, it's got a more powerful engine, been uprated a bit, better suspension, and some other improvements. The Republic of Indonesia already deploys the older Marda 1A3 infantry fighting vehicle and Rheinmetall are offering this as a cost-effective vehicle to meet a fairly rapid requirement. If you develop a new vehicle from scratch it can take up to five years. This particular vehicle the company said they could deliver production standard of vehicles within two years and in addition much of the chassis and automotive things are already used in the Marder 1A3 already used by the uh, Indonesians. The Marder 1A3 was developed to meet the requirements of Germany and was built in large numbers. Ryan Metal have already sold surplus vehicles to uh, Chile and there are a number of other contracts in the pipeline. In addition, the German army will retain the Marder for another 10 years at least, so there's a, a logistic chain and a training program already in place. So, Marder Medium tank, Republic of Indonesia, being shown for the first time here in Jakarta. After the show, it will go back to Germany. But there it is, ready in two years.